Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. We've got some action here today. The uh, As you can see, I just won the top 50 spot in a lightning round. No big deal. I don't push too hard, but it's good, simple work for a couple of heroic tokens. Let's collect those, and that's what we're going to do a bunch of today. We have a lot of tokens throughout the game, and uh, we'll pull those at least over 50 so far to do. And then we'll do a second video right after this one where we get into versus action with Nico in the Staff Appreciation Day event. We've got some uh, good teams with some boosted four star characters and five stars that we'll play along, including Iron Fist, Gwen Poole, Carolina Dean, and more. So that'll be second. This one will just be all tokens and Crash of the Titans. So we have that to be our highlight of the video here. We're going to take on Miles Morales with Spider Gwen. And that should be a pretty easy one. We'll see how it goes. But we are fighting over the same colors, even though our abilities are quite a bit different and can feed off each other. We'll cover that. Let's jump in and do the tokens. See if we can get some four stars along the way. I think we are going to be able to. And let's see. All right. Let's start with the Hearts of Darkness. Not much here except for the daily draw. I did some tokens already with my uh, younger son. I call him my lucky sidekick. And uh, he got the incredible, uh, well, the main event Hulk from this vault already. So looking pretty good. We'll see how good I can do without his uh, Hulk smash. Yep, just a two star for me. But let's go on down. We're going to bring the viewer luck in here pretty soon. See if we can get any gold level rewards. From, let's see, yeah, all right, we'll do the Mystique tokens as well. Valkyrie and Mystique events were really fun back to back. Just some more two stars. Let's move on to, we're gonna draw the supports tokens, guys. I think we're gonna do that within the uh, next four or five days before the season ends and these reshuffle. So we'll, uh, we'll keep that in a separate token video, I think at that point. We're up to 31 latest legends tokens with all these command points at 2680 we'll add to that we'll try to crack 2700 command points with all of our rewards today so let's go to the elites 16 elite tokens let's try to get some three stars here there's a hulk daredevil and vision nice okay I'll take that. Let's go on down to the heroics. Up to 39 total with odds at 1 in 16 for a 4 star. I think we're going to get one and maybe two here from this full run of heroics. Let's do it. Starting off with gold and Doctor Strange. And then Gambit in a row. Looks like the threes are going to be hot. That's great. And Quicksilver. Let's try to get a blinking gold emblem. There it is. And it is Sam Wilson, Captain America. We call him Flapton for fun. Got the dive bomb ability. Awesome. All right, so we got our four star. There's a hot guy. Let's see if we can get another four from the heroics. And then we're going to do a lot of mighty tokens after this as well. And then level everybody up. Got a three star Thor and Gambit. And another three star Sentry, rolling hot, we got a Doom, probably have some bonus shards coming our way here before too long. There it is, I swear I started to bring that up before they popped up, and I'm glad I was ready for it. It's uh, 50 shards for a 4 star, that's a good hit on Kingpin, nice to get those bonuses in after the Sentry draw. All right. So if we're going to get a four, who do you think it's going to be? I'll try to do a special thing here. We're really trying to work on our subscribers. We're um, heading toward the next hundred level. And ex as exciting as that is to uh, have you guys along for the ride and the support, really appreciate it. I'm going to do something when we hit our next four star here. Might not get it until the mighty tokens. We'll see. We have a bunch more. Let's keep rolling. Try to get another flashing emblem. Ragnarok.
more gold with three star cap. Need these two stars. It feels like they're running behind a little bit. I don't have very many maxed out. Another Hulk. And I've been selling characters to re roster duplicates Black Panther, Electra. Running out of time to hit a four star. I can't believe. Are we only going to get one from this run? That will mean the Mighty Tokens might be the lucky run of the day. Last token, we'll do the daily draw. Can it be gold? It is gold, three star. Iron Fist. Okay, definitely did really good on the threes. Now, let's try to pick up pace on the Mighty Tokens. We'll do 14 of these. That'll leave, you know, the six and then plus more we'll have for next time so we can always do, uh, almost always do intervals of seven. So if we're going to do 14 draws, we should get a couple of four stars. And I bet I got a feeling we're going to get three of them. Let's go. Starting with the Doc Ock and Squirrel Girl. I don't feel as though I have to announce each one of these since you're guaranteed a three. Lots of Hulk today. Guaranteed the three or better. And there is the four star. All right, we got one. So who do you think it's going to be? And guys, uh, like I mentioned with the subscriber count, one thing that would be super great if you guys would, would not mind me asking is in the comments, just, you don't have to say why, but just put a comment down there saying, hey, if you're watching, please subscribe. We've got um, about a 60-40 a split and uh, it's getting closer to 50-50 on everyone who watches versus subscribe uh, subscribers versus just uh, others watching. So we'd really love to uh, get the comments out there asking for people to, hey, just hit that subscribe button and that would be great. Hit the Gwenpool, one of my personal faves, as you saw in the last crash of the Titans. Can we get another four before we're out? Lots of Hulk today, and there is the four star. All right, I appreciate you guys putting the uh, subscriber request down in the comments. Let's count this one down in three, two, one. It is a Talos. I'll take it, he's a champion, so that means the uh, we'll get the champion rewards much like on anyone who's champed. Three more draws. And we finish out with a four. Very nice. I had a feeling we'd get three here. Okay, hit it. Mysterio. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to do it for all of the tokens. Let's level our characters up. And then we'll get into the Crash of the Titans and keep this video on the reasonable length side. We'll see, though. We have a lot of... Uh, rewards to add in. I'll let you uh, hang on for the two stars. Sometimes I do that on my own. I actually don't even have Moonstone rostered right now. I sold her out after becoming max champed just to get some duplicates rostered on. I'm just a cheapskate with my hero points trying not to spend a lot on new roster slots. They still cost a thousand for me at this level, but uh, once you get 300 roster slots filled up, they start to cost 2,000 per slot. That is, that's a little out of control. Got Storm Max Champed there. And let's see, what's going on with Cap? Is he not championed? Oh, that's right. I'm having a super hard time getting his red cover. It's pretty funny. Um, let's see how long we keep saving covers before I get that red cover in and uh, keep getting yellow and blue. Happens from time to time, but that's uh, way out of balance. Okay, so let's go to the three stars. We have 56 roughly three stars to work on. Let's root for command points and, of course, LTs are nice. Three Doctor Strange in a row. Works up toward a mighty. Little bit of CP there. Bunch of Hulk. Unfortunately, he just passed 
the reward for a totally awesome four-star Hulk cover, so it'll be a while before he has anything else really good. Spider-Man's waiting to be champed again soon. Hot guy with a whole bunch of levels. Very nice with the Ronin shards. Squirrel girl with the, oh, I missed it. What was it? Uh, eight command points. That's going to help a lot. Building back up to save for the... A oh, couple weeks out when um, Onslaught enters Latest Legends. I don't know if I'm going to draw for him or not. Might wait till Hulk rotates out and Yelena is uh, perhaps the plan, but I need shards to get Yelena to her 13th cover. I have some saved covers, but I'm low on her purple. So we'll see how that goes. I definitely like the shard system in that regard, so I can. Uh, not have to do a bunch of draws knowing I have shards coming. Save my draws for different character groups. They don't really want you to hoard a whole lot with your tokens, but sometimes it just makes the most sense. Do we have another natural cover on Blade? We don't, but he's also at the point where we have the go-ahead cover for him to be champed at some point soon. Can I trade that one either? Nope. Okay, 100 shards for Star-Lord, and Yondu shards next. Bunch of Loki levels here. Legendary token at 239, Mysterio. Mighty in there. Rockin' and Groot can't take that cover directly either, and or Cyclops. I'll worry about those later. All right, so let's go to the four stars. What do we have here? 16 in a row, starting with Mysterio. That's what we want. Four command points and a couple levels till he hits a an LT. Talos gets the 300 for the legendary, just like we wanted. Let's save Gwen Pool for last for some reason. We'll see. 320 is a level on Flapton. Very nice. There's the Gamora cover that I have to save because unfortunately she is at uh, 511 plus a saved red now. Just got that from my daily resupply. Look at that. 25 command points for a main event Hulk. Two more levels till he is maxed out. Let's get Nico built up a little bit more. So, like I said, we're going to use her in PvP in the video immediately following this one. Level 357 is going to be pretty good. She has over 80,000 health when she's boosted as the featured character in that event. I'll take it. Modok hits some CP and check it out. He gets to 300 for the LT and beyond. Really nice run on his covers there. Being a... Being a uh, Event reward recently. Maria Hill, same thing, but we just need a few more shards, 160 shards, and she'll hit the 300 point. Let's see how Super Scroll catches up a little bit here. 289. Karnak, my favorite for a while. Eight command points for 352. And Valkyrie here. More CP. And I'll take another quick look. There it is. We have the Gladiator Thor sh shards coming right up in um, one and three more levels. Fantastic. And the last four star of the day is Gwenpool hitting 368 with the additional 25 CP. Man, we got close to 2,800 total command points there. Awesome and uh, gain some much needed hero points. That's where we're at. Okay, so the no fives to work on. Let's go to the shards run here. And don't forget, we're going right after this to the Crash of the Titans. We'll talk about a little bit of strategy to go through that 
match with if you need to um, keep trying until you win. Let's see. Everybody's pretty much waiting here except for Deadpool. We'll take uh, her up a few notches. Got my costume equipped. Got the four star shards for Deadpool and then Domino shards coming up right after that. And so a lot of these characters are getting closer to reasonable points, but um, let's see. Yeah, I don't have to wait on Cyclops. Let's do this. We'll take, um, we've got, I don't usually want people to use shards when you have covers to add in. But um, being at 344, four, I think, is a good spot. And we have another shard level we can apply later. So he's getting really close. We'll wait for a couple more natural covers to come in. And probably, let's see. Yeah, we don't need to wait on Blade either. So let's go and add in that level. And the shards will be the go-ahead. Cool. All right, that's what we want. That's it for the levels. Let's get in to the crash, see if we can win. This one can be tough, especially because Miles has the ability to go invisible and it's a really inexpensive ability for him to do that. Spider Gwen has one damage dealing power and it is a big hitting ability if you play it right. We'll see if we, if we can do that. <laughs> Let's turn on the animations here and get into it. Okay, so with Spider-Gwen, we have purple, red, and yellow abilities. Purple is a stun, but it's really a good stun in most normal matches because it stuns two random enemies and not just one like most stuns do. Um, and it's random, so you can't control which two out of the three, but there's uh, ways to, to plan that for good use. Kick out the jams is just basically a way to add web tiles to the board because when a web tile is matched our team gains a little bit of health and web tiles aren't they they're on the board but they don't belong to one team or the other they're neutral so um, that also comes into play with miles here we'll see in a little bit and then her cherry bomb is a huge hitting ability potentially it costs 12 but it gets less expensive for each web tile that's on the board so it can be reduced to a cost of just six if there's enough webs out and it does an absolute ton of damage if you have that many webs uh, to get you to play it early and uh, this will be a knockout blow when we get it. So that's awesome. Let's look at Miles. His very dangerous ability is hide and seek. It costs seven for him to go invisible and it's a two part ability that's really, really hard hitting ability as well. Um, but again, you have to be careful and you have to play it right. So with for seven, he places a purple invisibility tile on the board and he stays invisible for as long as that is on the board. Yellow power and responsibility is, is similar to Gwen's a little bit. It puts web tiles on the board and then the passive side of things is whenever a web tile is matched, he earns AP for his team. One purple and one red and uh, that must not be at power level five. At level five, it earns uh, additional colors which I think includes blue and then venom blast and so this is an actual stun ability and does a little, little bit of damage I'm not too worried about this although getting stunned at the wrong time really stinks let's go so we want to keep him away from purple at almost all costs in this match if he gets purple and goes invisible we're stuck waiting for him to oh I didn't cover the second half of his uh hide and seek ability, um, once that invisibility tile is on the board, the power converts over to surprise and it costs eight. And keep in mind, he's earning AP every time somebody matches a web tile. Our team or their team, if they match one, they, he earns more purple and more red, for example. And this does a ton of damage when he swings out from the shadows and uh, 2670 damage plus additional damage for each web tile on the board. His purple does spam a whole bunch of webs in the first place, but I just don't want him to go invisible. So where do we want to start? I think we'll look, probably let him take yellows a little bit and try to keep purple away big time. There we go. 
So our, our purple is a two character stun, but of course uh, it does guarantee that he will be stunned when we do it. Um, there's a match four in black that doesn't earn him any useful colors at all. So he has to take it. I think the best way is probably take this purple. His match four will line us up with another match in purple. Don't think we need to play it yet. Whoops. Don't need to give him a lot of match four since they do damage, but all right. Nothing much else going on except for we have to get a run on red while keeping him away from purple. And if he gets lucky with red, that's probably the point where I'll stun him, right? Does that make sense? Because as soon as he stuns you, um, he's got two moves in a row that could be very difficult to keep him away from certain colors. Uh, line him up with yellow, he'll go for that. If you line up a match, and it's the only match available on the board in one of his three colors, he will take that match um, pretty much 100% of the time. Just so you know. Of course, if there's a match four in a different color, he has to, the, the computer, the AI has to take a match four every time it's presented. So like once again here, there's a match four in black. I know he has to take it. So what should I do to set myself up for something? In this case, I think we were so far ahead in purple. Let's go ahead and stun because with this match four, I got a feeling it's gonna set us up with purple or red matches. Not quite, but it worked out well. Extra move, and then we should get the following purple on the drop. Look at that. How fortunate that we didn't, um, you know, give him the turn next. There we go. All right, so we still have purple. We're working on yellow and red. And what's the best way to hit him with the probably you want to hit your colors on that critical if you can. I'm going to go ahead and let him come back because we have a stun once again. There's very few webs on the board, only three, and our cherry bomb costs nine instead of 12, reduced in cost. That's great. Um, let's set ourselves up for a yellow here. It's uh, also helpful that our stun is a two-turn stun instead of a one-turn, which his red happens to be. Now let's play Kick Out the Jams, a cool animation here. Puts webs on the board, it fortifies one web tile. And with all these webs on the board, um, let's go ahead and play Teenage Kicks again. This will be the end of the match. Our Cherry Bomb is now at a cost of six. Technically, you could play it twice in a row for 14,664 damage. That's a win. All right. Well, I wanted to keep this video a little shorter, but uh, we did get the legendary token for the crash and a few along the way of our rewards. So stay tuned and we uh, be ready for the following video where we get into PVP action with Nico. It's going to be great. Check it out uh, with those extra couple of levels. She's up to 81,390 health. Can't wait to get into that. Uh, there's a video presented below. If it is a good one for you, please continue on there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the MPQ icon that's presented and uh, you'll be part of supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. See you in the next video, guys.